Hi Trevers, I've picked out my IBM ThinkPad laptop today. Um, this is running Windows 95 and I obtained this one from someone who replied to my freecycle.org advert. Every now and again I put an advert up on freecycle.org on my local groups asking for old laptops, old computers and old bicycles. You never know, you might get lucky. Someone might give one away. And this was being given away and it wasn't working. It came with its adapter and the carry case. I've got all that with it as well. But it just wasn't working. It would turn on, but it wouldn't boot. And the problem was very simple. On these, there's a tab this side and a tab this side that you pull forward on the keyboard flips up. And underneath that on this corner is the hard drive and all that had happened was that the hard drive had become disconnected. I just reconnected it, put the keyboard back down and it's worked ever since. So, turn it on. There's lots of LED lights down there, I have no idea what they're all for. I don't know how well you can hear it, but that, that um, hard drive is making a nice whir in the sound. It's got one of these little track buttons again. Ooh, yeah. Go away. Uh, that should boot now. I'm guessing the internal battery's flat. if you disconnect the charger that always does that and asks for the time and date. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Never knew that. Can adjust the brightness with a little slidey switch on the side here. Slidey switch. Slide switch. What am I like? Slidey switch. Don't know the password, so I'll click cancel. There's very little on it. That's a cute little laptop. It's like a brick. Yeah, so thick the screen is, and then that's how thick the base is. Battery doesn't even take charge whatsoever. Which, considering its age, I'm not at all surprised. Shall we see what specs it's running before I shut it down? I if I can remember how to do it on this. Start settings. Control panel. Da, 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 da. System. What have we got? Ooh. A whopping 12 megabytes of RAM. It doesn't say what the processor is, though. Probably a Pentium 1. But don't hold me to that. I haven't got a clue. Let's close all that down. Shut the machine down. And on that note, I'm going to shut the video down. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.